facility. Anything else? Find in these vents? What lurks in the depths? Ooh, another locked door. Or oh, potentially the same locked door. No. Um, because I have no idea where I am. And it's incredibly easy to get lost. And no map. I think this is the way I came. I think. Am I going the right way now? I'm so turned around. And another locked door. Or once again, the same locked door. Forever trapped. Save icon and uh, yellow light means this is definitely the right way to go. Awesome! More creepy goo. This door appears not to be working. note here that says don't touch the structure gel leakage can't confirm its effect on wow this issue has been reported to SSC Vortec uh, that's the black stuff I guess so don't touch it what the hell is going on here radio signal blocked insufficient power Well, I can talk to it. Hey, can you hear me? That is absolutely disgusting. That's a female voice. So, my crazy theory earlier that I was listening to two robots talking might not be so outlandish now. Wow, that was monumentally disturbing and insanely creepy and I do feel kind of bad. Did I just kill that thing? However, power seems to have been restored, so that's good. What do I do here? Push all the buttons. Well, that's that puzzle solved. I guess I had to push the button when the bar was in the green. And I seem to have turned the power back on. So that's good, right? Wow, that was amazingly noisy. Large explosions. Generally speaking, once you turn the power on, uh, that's good, because you can get places, but after watching Resident Evil, it also unleashes all the enemies. But I have lots and lots of pretty things to look at. Oh, what is... What, what's happening? Hello, 
Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? <sighs> I hear you. Uh, Absalom, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Ah, oh, signal... Damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 someplace dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh... Yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Damn relays. They never seem to work in video games, do they? They always, you never get like a, oh, this is a really clear signal where we can have the full conversation and tell you everything that's going on. No, there's always some sort of oh, weird explosion thing to distract you and send you on a wild goose chase around other stuff so you have to fix things. Uh, System Shock was a particular favourite of doing that. Also in System Shock you were being followed by or not follow, you were following the instructions of the security chief who then later turned out to be Showdown. Spoilers! So, potentially she could be a rescuer or she could be an evil robot ready to kill you. Let's find out. I'm guessing that's all I can do in this room. Door's open now, so... Let's go. That's a falling hazard. No, really? I would never have guessed. Uh, that's effectively telling me the system is online. Upstairs. Oh! Okay, we're going over to those stairs then. So I can get out of this place. Suspected structural faults must be reported immediately. What's the betting that something around here is going to collapse with me on it? All these clues, the falling hazard, and warnings, high pressure steam. One of these things is going to kick off. Uh, there seems to be a door over there. So, or another vent shaft, but. Probably not working. No. Right. There's a ladder down. And it looks like the bridge is out. Oh, 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 that doesn't feel safe. Yeah, ladder is going to be anyway down. Something bad is going to happen. I just get this feeling. There we go. The ladder broke. Awesome. Now what? Head to the stairs. Uh, some lights. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, great. Our first enemy. Fantastic. Annoyingly enough, between us and the stars. Which way do you go? Go, go. Pull the switch. 
Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Okay, that was bad. That didn't work. That also hurt a lot. So I can't go up there just yet. And now I'm stuck. Hopefully he can't see me. Oh, I think this is very bad. This is a very bad situation to be in. Uh, Oh, I don't seem to appear to be dead. Okay, that's good. Okay, do I get another chance of running away? Okay, if I keep very still, is he not going to see me? Okay. Now I'm fucked. Can't jump over. Crap, gravity, crap, crap. I died. Wow, loud noises of death. <sighs> okay, note to self, don't run like a mad bastard for the stairs, it's a dead end and you die. There must be another way around. Okay, so the robot comes in from that door underneath the steps. Perhaps I have a few seconds to get out of the platform. So I have a few seconds to quickly run around and see if there's anything useful. Okay, I have a weird thing here. Uh, okay, he's acting. Alright, well there's a platform up here with some spinning fans. So it might be something up there that I can There seems to be a, a tiny thing. Okay, so that was a thing. That's made a lot of noise. Hopefully he'll now walk into that room and do himself some injury.
first creature successfully avoided on the second attempt. And you can't get me. What was weird though was that I dropped down onto the floor below, but somehow he still managed to get me. That was a little weird. And it looks like those glowy things heal you. Which is nice. Robot talking. Again, the robot with a human voice. Leading me to believe that there aren't any humans here, they're all robots that think they're humans. Amy's sketch with some awesome sketches. What's that say? Reseal exit to a hashtag hidden workload. Are you getting any clues from any of these pictures other than fish and cute art? Don't think so. Alright, this is a map. Which is helpful. Uh, I am in store station B. So I came from the shuttle station, maybe. This is a very confusing map. Stuff that's stretched out means I probably can't get to it. Ah, there's an exit to an airlock, so that could be useful. Okay. Great map. I'm going to forget all of that. that weird stuff. Uh, lock door? Yeah. So much for the Omni tool I picked up earlier. That allowed me to get through any lock door. Uh, lockdown process initiated. Check terminal for details. Uh, I'm going to need an ID number. Warning, crush handed stand clear while closing. Access to comm centre upstairs. Well, <coughs> is it going to be really easy in the No. No. Some puzzle solving required. If I go down there, are you going to kill me? Okay, that is really disconcerting. What the hell happened to you? What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semkin. Wrangler. Oh, it's the pilot. Any of this sound familiar to you? I no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Okay, so this is the pilot. Who is Are you human? Shit, did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save the mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Yep. Robots that think they're humans. So, 
Where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy! Okay, okay, I, I'm, ju I'm just gonna be... I I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here! See? Um, okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? <laughs> Yep, that is robust though. Definitely think that they're human. <clears throat> this could get weird. How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, remoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields and... That's my last clear memory. Okay, continuing my theory that uh, when you had your brain scan... What's wrong with your... everything? Are you diving in sewage or something? Okay, so... When, I, when Simon got uploaded for his brain scan, somehow it crossed the wires with everyone's brains and they've now ended up in robots. And bodies, we don't know. Alternatively, the whole brain damage, car accident thing, still could potentially be, a, you know, in your imagination that you are making up to make it appear more human, and you are in a similar situation to this. However, because you've seen his arms, he's not a robot. However, he also thinks he's human and can't see the robot. So, and also because the robot's telling me that I look like crap. Maybe I'm also a robot. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Listen, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands. Both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely. I am not who I think I am. If you see any others, just let them know where I am. Find someone who can help. If you see any others, just let them know where I am. Well, there we go. That robot has pretty much given away the entire story. And I was right. What's this gonna do? Nothing good. This is the actual Carl Semkin. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around. <laughs> run! good -o. So further to uh, cement the fact that uh, it's a human that thinks he's a... Uh, robot that thinks he's a human. Here is the human. 
and uh, the robots are not happy, clearly. This door appears to be closed. Turn around, we sealed Upsilon to keep it working, don't fuck it up. Car was not my fault. And this is Amy. Ooh, ID numbers. I need those for the computer. So we've got 0735. And uh, the other one. Okay, we'll, we'll work on those as we come back. This possible might be a dead end. No, not a dead end. But lots of water. Water is a bad thing. Blood hazard. If I open this up, am I suddenly going to get washed away? This is probably a very bad thing. Okay, well, oh, looks like that, don't you? Can't go at all. So, ID number 0735. And ID number 0732. Do the IDs, what I remember them. Zero. Zero. Seven. Three. Five. Login. So we got. Inbox to Heather, Upsilon, up, we managed to make most of the backup turbos and activate all generators. And Upsilon should be able to produce power for at least a decade before we burn it through the flues. Bad news is machines are getting worse. We tried to come up with a way to shut them all down, but considering the insane amount of units, it's not looking good. We're seriously worried that we can disrupt power production when we leave. And this is running the inbox. Good job, try to get all the backup turn running and cup just with 6%. With all the evacuations from the swipe on a low and steady hum, no need to strain the system. The robots are getting increasingly erratic all over Pathos 2, and unfortunately there's no universal kill switch. Seeing how we won't protect our stone, you can try sealing off second. Right, so this is all the pre stuff. <clears throat> so the, the, the story goes is obviously they've built this place for energy, they've set everything up good to go, but the robots have started to be weird. And rather than, because they can't shut them all down, they've just sealed the place up. Unfortunately, the robots have then turned suicidal, sorry, homicidal, and started killing everybody. Um, and then the weird brain meld thing happened. I think that's pretty much where we're at on the story. Power manager? Come center. Ooh, solution found, shut down. One of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. So if I do that and that, then I can get up the stairs. Okay. Okay, well, I've got access to the storage. Turn the flow control on and off. Off. These are the various 
people. Okay, let me try the other one. Zero seven two two. See what we can do with him. Any mail? He was about to write a email. It's not been sent, so I'm gonna send that. Power production has been secured and sealed off the factories. The power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. Good to know. Can't send a mail because there's no people. I can do power management with him as well. There's a thing about the staff that I care about. Okay. Let's go check out the storage. <laughs> Over. Over. Yeah. Yeah.